Hello, I'm Dave from the Kodo, back with another guide for you for Warcraft. This is the Artifact Retirement Quest chain. Uh, what it is, is you have to have killed, fully done uh, the whole Argus raid, uh, at least on LFR. It, it looks like at least on one character. Uh, it does. It, the LFR version can will will trigger this, but you'll get the summons to Orgrimmar once you log in. If you don't get this right after killing in an LFR, if you relog, you should get it to pop. Let's grab that. This will send you to, obviously, Orgrimmar. Alright, and we'll be right here outside of Gromish Hold, where we'll turn this in with Nathanos. And... He's going to send us over to Silithus for the next part of the quest. Little cutscene here if you want to watch it. Talks about why we're going to Silithus. We'll complete that. I'll let you watch that. And now we're going to head to Silithus. So however you want to get there, that is the fastest for you. I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to fly over. Once you get to Sithlis, there's going to be a few quests you have to do in the zone. Talk to Grawl here. He's going to want you to get some prospectors going, and there's also this quest right here. No spies allowed. Now, it's a very tiny area that you have to do this in, right here. So... With the amount of people doing this quest chain right now, if they haven't done it prior to this, because you could do all of these lead-up quests first, uh, before the final part of it was added, you might want to do this on an after-hours time, just to make it a little bit easier. So here, you're going to see some lazy prospectors. You just smack them, tell them to get to work. And you're going to want to do ten of those, and then you're also going to want to find... some SI7 operatives and kill them. See, they're going to be a little bit harder to find because they're cloaked all the time. What I do is I wait until there's a group of people attacking and then I jump in and tag. See, you know, the amount of people they're doing is not even that mi that many right now and it's kind of hard, difficult to find these uh, these cloaked guys. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get these done and we'll move on to the next set of quests. There's one right now. I saw seven operative. You just want to kill ten of those guys. All right. After finishing off those two quests, you're gonna turn them back in at the same place where you got them, and you're gonna get a couple more. That's just to speak to, and that we have to get somebody's head. Complete that quest. That's done. Come over here. Do a little speak to. And grab two more. What this is going to do is you're going to do some gathering quests. Uh, you can go to any of these three areas, but seeing as how we have to go down here for the, the to get the head quest, I always I like to go down to this area anyway. Uh, you're going to get ten brains and ten broodlings. Now the broodlings are going to be little companion pet type things that are on the ground that you have to pick up. Be careful when you're fighting around them because you can kill them with any type of like AoE attack or anything. Um, so you can see right there I just just did uh, an accident. Killed one. Kill the Silithids to get the brains. Pick up the broodlings to complete that quest. Twelve of those. Once I finish that we'll head over to get the head quest. That'll be close to the end of this quest chain. All right, once you've collected the brains and the broodlings, you're going to head over to the southwestern part to get the head of Voltstrider. He's inside of this little den right here. And you're probably, depending on what time you come in and do it, you're going to have to wait for him to respawn. Like, he was just killed, so I'm going to have to wait for him to respawn. And there he is. Simple quest. So many people doing it right now that he just melts. Grab his head. And we're going to head back to the eastern side of Silithus to turn these in. Once you land over here, we're going to turn these two quests in. 
Okay, guards request. Uh, this next set of quests is more so for lore than it is for um, actual progression here. Let's turn these all in. But basically, Kagar wants you to deliver a note to his friend over here on the other side of this giant sword. So we'll do that. You would think that being a mage, Kagar could just teleport over here. You're going to talk to Magni. He's going to give you a letter. He's going to talk to you about some lore. Listen to it if you're interested. And then he's going to say, Hey, why don't you uh, bring this back to Kegar? So back we go. Once we get back over here and return the message, we're going to go up here and talk to Uruk. We are almost done. This is going to fly us up to the Horde ship. Alliance will fly up to their side. Uh, obviously, Alliance people doing this is just the opposite. Killing the different people, going to a different town, uh, city. We are going to land here on this uh, ship right in front of the giant sword. And turn in the speaker's call to Magni Bronzebeard. He is going to explain that... The only way to draw out the corruption is with our artifact weapon. I'm going to tell him that we're ready. This will be a cutscene if you'd like to watch it. You get an achievement if you haven't yet. This is because uh, I didn't do too much on this character. Turn in my last quest to Magni. And if you look at your weapon now, you'll see that it is overloaded with artifact power. Your artifact level is 126. And it, when, if you have concordance here, concordance will be at 75. So you have to unlock that first. But that will be at 75. Artifact level will be at 126. On all specs. You don't have to do this individually for each spec. Do it for one. For my druid, all four specs got it all full maxed out. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, watch my channel for more tips, tricks, and guides in the upcoming WoW expansion. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.